Okay, so camera comparison time here between the Samsung Galaxy S7 with its rear 12 megapixel camera and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 with another 12 megapixel camera. Now, both of these phones have phase detection, dual pixel phase detection autofocus, which works really quick. Very similar sensors because they have the same pixel size of 1.4 micrometers. So in this review here, I'm gonna compare the rear cameras side by side. I'll crop into 200% crop, also compare the camera quality, so taking videos. That will be 1080p video and 4K video. Now, natively, the camera app on the Xiaomi does not support 4K video yet, so I had to use open camera for that with electronic image stabilization enabled. And then, of course, the front-facing cameras as well. I'll compare them. Now, let's look at video on the front-facing cameras here. So we've got a 5-megapixel sensor on the Samsung, 13 on the Xiaomi, and I've noticed that the Xiaomi tends to overexpose a lot with video in this bright sunlight, of course, at the moment. And I've set the Samsung to 1080p, so it's fair, even though it can do 1440p video on the front-facing camera here. You see, both of them, I mean, the quality is decent. It's just that overexposing that tends to happen quite a bit on the Xiaomi, so they have a little bit of optimization to do, I feel, and you can see here, even when I'm in the shade now, that the Samsung's capturing this a little bit better, I feel. So this time around, we're indoors, low light, 1080p front-facing cameras, so which one do you think is doing the better job here? Well, I can clearly see that there tends to be a lot more grain and noise on the Redmi Note 5 here. So this is now in 1080p video. So both of these cameras have the same dual pixel autofocus and I do have stabilization enabled on both of them. So it's electronic image stabilization on the Redmi Note 5 and then optical and electronic on the Samsung. Take a look at the focus here. You'll see that the Xiaomi tends to really oversaturate these flowers. The focus is working on both of them about the same, which is really good because they've both got, of course, that quick focus. So you see my hand here. So very fast on both of them there. Just walk along again, and you can see the stabilization. And I find that the Samsung is also capturing these shadows a lot better. See how much brighter that is? So in order to shoot in 4K on the Xiaomi, I've used Open Camera. So that's a third-party camera app because the stock app does not let you shoot in 4K for some reason. At least not yet. I think they have to add that. And hopefully they will. So I do have the electronic image stabilization enabled with Open Camera. And you can see it's doing a really good job of taking shapes out of this footage, making it very smooth and steady, which is great. And the focus should be just as good as the Samsung because they're using very similar technology. In fact, it's the same tech that they're using. Now you will hear that the sound, the audio I feel, is definitely a lot better on the Samsung because it has that higher bit rate. Now I'm just gonna to walk towards the council building right here and you can see just how stable that electronic image stabilization is versus the optical image stabilization. So overall, I feel the Xiaomi's doing quite good here in the 4K test, considering that this is about a 229 or 220 US mobile phone versus a two-year-old flagship. So now 4K video, indoors, low light, and I can see a lot of noise on the Redmi Note 5 here. So the clear winner to me in this kind of situation is clearly the Samsung Galaxy S7.
Okay guys, so what do I think about the end result there? I think the Xiaomi did really well, the Redmi Note 5 there, considering that it's not a flagship phone, this is a budget mobile phone. But because of the dual pixel phase detection autofocus on there, that it's just as fast as my Samsung Galaxy S7, as you saw there. Now the video quality, I would say that in 1080p, they're, they're looking similar, but uh, I give the winner would definitely be the Samsung Galaxy S7 there because it has a higher bit rate. The audio quality as well is one big factor there that it just sounds a lot better on the Samsung because there is a big difference in the audio bit rates. It's almost double on the Samsung that they use there. Now, 4K video with the uh, electronic image stabilization enabled on the Xiaomi, it did drop a few frames, but it was very smooth and steady and not bad at all considering that it doesn't have any optical image stabilization there. But the winner is, I feel, again, uh, the Samsung. Now, in terms of photo quality, daylight, it's very close until you zoom in with 100, 200% crop. And even then, it's still quite close, isn't it? So really good results there from the Xiaomi. That really does impress me, again, considering the price of it. So low light, low light, uh, the Samsung's gonna win. It, it did win there because it has the optical image stabilization. It can hold uh, the shutter rate a lot longer and it also lets in more light with its f1.7 aperture instead of the f1.9 that you have on the uh, Xiaomi. So it's just slightly wider and that's why the results there are a little bit better. But I feel the Xiaomi does okay when you have a look at them side by side, some of those photos that you're thinking, hey, that's actually not too bad at all considering so really impressive uh, with the focus on both of them. And finally, Xiaomi has fixed the focus hunting issues that have played literally all of their phones, mid-range, high-range, top of the end, top of the line ones from them, and even their budget phones have all had that problem. E even the Xiaomi Mi Mix, the Mi Mix 2, had those problems, and finally it's fixed with that uh, dual pixel face detection autofocus, which is great to see. Now the front facing cameras, I feel the Xiaomi overexposed my face, didn't it? If you have a look at some of the shots there, my face is just too white. It tends to overexpose quite a bit. The photos are far too bright. And I did disable that beautifying feature, I turned that off, because that can sometimes brighten up your face as well. I don't know why it does that, it's part of how it works. And I feel again, yeah, the Samsung one. So. Overall, it did do really well, the budget phone, against the flagship, but it still won't take that crown because it still has a really good camera. I feel the Samsung Galaxy S7, even though it's two years old now. Thanks a lot for watching this comparison here. Now, if you'd love to win one of these, the not the Samsung Galaxy S7, but the Redmi Note 5, then check it check out the link down there in the description of this video. You can go on the draw to win one of them, and that'll be drawn in approximately two weeks time now. And thank you so much for watching this comparison here. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a th thumbs up there and also think about subscribing. And I hope to see you back with my full review of Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5. Bye for now.